What is up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a review on some hair products that I received a couple of months ago. And I've just got time to do it. I'm so busy. Yeah. So I received, well let's, let's start off from the beginning. Um, company, some hair company followed me on my Twitter account. Um, and it's called Anchors Hair Company. And I looked on their Twitter to see what there was about, really. They're a men's hair product based company. Um, they do like pomades and waxes and things like that. And I emailed them and I said, Could you be really kind like, to send me some samples so I can review them on my channel? And they was really enthusiastic about it. They said yeah sure you know where am I going to send to and I got them and I thought they were based in I thought they were based in the UK but they're not they're actually where do they come from they have come all the way from Knoxville is that in Tennessee can some American people help me Tennessee is that from Knoxville Tennessee I don't know maybe someone can let me know um, but yeah, so it came in this little tiny box. So, uh, yeah, this come in the little parcel that I got sent and they wrote a message. It said, thank you for contacting me. I hope you enjoy all products are handmade and paraben petroleum alcohol free and have natural waxes, essential oils and herbal extracts. New labels coming soon. I found out that the person I was talking to was a man called Benjamin Miller. So thank you very much, Benjamin, for sending me these. So let's get down to what was inside the box. So I opened it up and you get this tiny little pocket comb. It's got Anchor's Hair Company printed on there as well. Really useful, you know, to carry about if you're on the go, just pop it in your pocket or trouser pocket. So it's quite small to carry around with. It's quite a cool travel comb actually. Yeah. So you get a free comb and an Anchors Hair Company sticker as well. And I think this is another sticker as well with their website. So go over now and check out loveanchors.com and I'll also put the link in the description box below as well. Three products is included. The first one is called Teddy Boy Original. The Shine is number three and the Hold is number three. The next one is Teddy Boy Slick. Uh, the Shine on this one is a four and the Hold is a three. Slightly more shine as it's a slick look. And the last one is Teddy Boy Matte, the black lid in this bottle blue uh, container. And shine on that is a two and the hold is a three. So I tried all three of them out um, and I found the best that suits my hair type is the Teddy Boy Matte. Basically because I like I like my hair to look matte um, when I style it. Um, the cool thing about the matte one is when I opened it up I was actually quite quite shocked because it's quite gloopy and normally with matte products they're quite stiff and hard to work with but um, once I warmed this up in my hands, once I like took a bit and I rubbed it, it actually become more stiff um, and easy to work with. So that was quite cool, actually. So yeah, that was good. Um, smell. It smells like almonds. Um, they, sm they actually smell like bake oil tarts. If you're in England, you know Mr. Kipling, bake oil tarts. Yeah, this one smells like bake oil tart. Teddy Boy Original. It's weird because that's quite firm. It's not gloopy at all. That's got like a very slight aftershave smell. Very, very light. This was good as well. I use this one. I quite like this one. Um, I used this for when I did my hair quite smart. I was going to a wedding. I side part it and comb it. I quite like this one. And the other one, the Teddy Boy Slick. I don't really wear my hair that slick, so I didn't really, I don't think I'd use it as much, but I probably will use it. This is really weird, because the consistency of this one, I would have thought would have been the matte, but this is quite, um, how do I explain it? It's like, it's the consistency of 
like a lip balm. It's quite firm, oily. And this smells like mint. Really nice smell. Really fresh. Yeah, so out of the three, for me, I'd probably use the Teddy Boy Matte because I like the matte look. But you know, all of these are really nice products to use. As you know, or may not know, I always try and look for companies that use really high quality products. I tend to go for companies that are not that well known just because I like the thought that not a lot of people are using them and they're quite special. Um, yeah, and the man that made these, I think he's got a, he's got a YouTube video that I saw um, that he actually makes them in his home as well. So they're all homemade, all his own recipe. Go and check him out. I will link him in the description box below. If you have any questions, comment. If you've got a product that you make yourself, if you're a small company and you want to send me some samples so I can review them, contact me. Um, and I'm sure I'll give you my address. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, tune in really soon because I've got another video coming up. Um, don't know what about yet. It might be favourites video. I haven't done with them for quite some time. Also, uh, someone else followed me on Twitter. Uh, they were called Glambu TV. They're like a networking a YouTube channel where loads of individuals come together and discuss stuff, and share interests, and cool stuff like that, really. Um, so they followed me. Um, I'll link them in the box below. Go check them out, their YouTube, their Twitter. Let's take care guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on all of my social networks. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video please, share it if you want to, um, like my Facebook page, um, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, um, Pinterest if you're on that. Until next time guys, I'll see you later, bye.